everyone. Um, I've recruited a few team members this morning to help me out um, and to stop you getting so bored of me coming up and presenting. So, <clears throat> a few sort of key themes I wanted to talk about. Uh, I'll hand over to Simi to get us started. Yeah, so um, what we're currently discovering is what we call in prod um, is all the digital marketing stuff. So, working closely with Georgie and Helen um, and client services to work on what we're currently using, which is Mailgun and whether we want to move to something that's a bit more flexible like MailChimp and Mandrill, um, how we get analytics on all the stuff that we send out, and then also for client services, which is um, automating emails within workflows. So we there's a lot of stuff that we send out to get responses from clients, and they're all standard things that we send. So it's looking at how we can automate that within I.O. Um, yeah, so hand over back to Mark. Thanks. Um, another thing that we completed work on um, during the sprint was the Merlin token authentication that um, I've mentioned before. Um, this is stateless and scalable authentication, and this provides us with some flexibility um, in the way that we work. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to talk a bit more about that in a moment, but I'm just going to pass over to Sam quickly. Yeah, so um, just quick on this. So we, uh, on the pension education page tests, we're working on getting those all into Browse Stack. Um, we've got some good progress on that. And um, what we'd like to do is sort of get get some uh, Google Analytics data on the highest browsers and always ensure that we're good on those browsers every, every release. So we have full confidence in release of the pension education page. Yes. Cool. We do have some Google Analytics, so yeah. As in, like we when we get when we get good traffic, we can get that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, awesome. Cheers. Um, just gonna give a quick live demo as well. Uh, so it's nothing too exciting, um, to be honest. But in terms of something that you can actually see, but I'll explain what's going on here. So this is uh, our new login that we've got for Merlin. This is now deployed onto our system test environment. Um, and this is actually, this isn't within the existing Merlin code base. So because of this uh, token-based authentication, we can now, um, we can now have our logins, we can have any additional Merlin um, functionality deployed as separate um, applications. Uh, so there's a, there's a wrong password. So you get a nice error dialog. Um, get the password right and they go into Merlin. So this doesn't look that exciting, but behind the scenes, the way that we actually do that authentication has completely changed. And I just thought I'd um, show a quick picture here um, to try and explain a bit more of what that actually looks like. So over there in the top left, um, you can see, top right even, you can see we've got uh, client services and we've got Merlin, which is our, um, our legacy PHP code base. By, uh, and traditionally before, um, it was all this session-based authentication, which meant the work that we did on Merlin, um, new work going forward had to be within that uh, Merlin code base. <coughs> By taking this token-based uh, approach, um, what you can see is this enables all these new uh, microservices that we can use uh, around here. Um, so. Merlin dashboard, that's our new login. Um, Merlin client, that's something that will be coming soon. It's client service in progress, our authentication service. Uh, you know, multiple databases we're talking to, um, external clients. And we're all just authenticating the user by passing around um, a token. So hopefully that gives you a bit more understanding of why this is really useful for us. Um, yeah, we're going to hand it back to Sam. He's going to do some more talk around our test automation. Thank <laughs> you.